Eric Bowling is going to make such an ass of himself here, it's hard to even put in words how ridiculous he is. Maricopa County Sheriff Joe Arpaio is at it again, and this time he's coming after inmates' food. Now, to punish prisoners who have been desecrating American flags in their cells, he has enforced a strict bread and water diet for seven days. Do it again, and you get another 10 days. Mm -hmm. Sheriff Joe has doled out some interesting punishments in the past, such as pink jumpsuits and undies for the inmates. But does this go too far? I don't think so. At all, in mm, fact. Really? I mean, the whole point of being in prison is punishment. So I don't understand why we have to coddle everybody, and you shouldn't be desecrating the flag. I like it. Wow. Water. I don't think I've ever disagreed with you before. Are we going to break I up? Really, I, yeah, I, I, I won't break <laughs> up with you. Okay. But thanks. I really disagree. I think that food should not be used as a form of punishment when, when there is no imminent threat to anybody else. Remember back in the olden days, you eat gruel, whatever that is. That's right. What's gruel? I don't know, but it doesn't Whatever sound it good. is, maybe we should do that again. I think Joe's got the right idea here. Um, All right. Look, oh, I wear this for a reason. I, I wear the flag for a reason. Um, it, it, it represents American freedom. There are, our sons and daughters are dying on battlefields right. around the world to rep to, 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 for the freedom that this flag represents. If people who are incarcerated are burning the flag, stepping on the flag, tearing the flag, it's a complete That's disrespect. Great. You don't even deserve to deserve the bread. You don't even JDO deserve a complete disrespect. Give them water. The guess what? You might last a week without a any. That show, The Five, is so much fun. Because it is all the village idiots, all of the sons and daughters of the really rich assholes, like in the super Republican county, uh, the, the Republican part of town. It's all them sitting around a table giving their uneducated opinions. It's so much fun. But let me break that down for you. This is what uh, Eric Bowling is saying. Because I believe in freedom and the Constitution and America, starve prison inmates. No, but Eric, you didn't stop like for a second before you said that to think, does this really make sense? Am I sure this makes sense? So let me explain it to him. The freedom of expression and freedom of speech in the First Amendment protects flag desecration, which is what he was slamming there, right? And that's one of the reasons why Joe was angry. What were the inmates were desecrating a flag? I don't even know how they would get a hold of a flag, but whatever. Either way, that's he goes. Well, because they desecrated the flag, yes, starve them. But that's a freedom that's protected by the First Amendment. Don't take my word for it. Look up Texas versus Johnson in 1989. The Supreme Court ruled that, of course, flag burning is protected by the First Amendment. And it's amazing to me that Republicans still don't understand that real patriotism is not bowing down to the flag, but it's understanding that you live in a country that gives you the freedom to burn the flag and not get punished for it. That's real freedom. You know, if you burn the flag in Russia, they're supposed to throw you in a in a dark pit and leave you there. If you burn the flag in Saudi Arabia, they do that. The whole idea of a free country is you can burn it and, and it's okay. It's, it's part of the freedoms of being here. Second of all, the text of the Eighth Amendment to the United States Constitution says, Excessive bail shall not be required, nor excessive fines imposed, nor cruel and unusual punishments inflicted. Okay, starving inmates is not cruel. Have you ever starved before? And it's not unusual. This is the only place in the country that's doing it. It is the clearest violation of the Eighth Amendment I've ever seen, other than maybe Guantanamo and torture. So Eric Bowling, get this, managed to come out in favor of two constitutional violations while he was arguing in favor of freedom and the Constitution in the American way. The irony of that is so overwhelming, it's hard to wrap your mind around. The degree to which this guy does not understand what being an American is, is immeasurable.